Hi, hi everyone, Pastor Rudy Mosley here, and I'm excited about this opportunity to come and speak to you. Excited about the fact that you've taken some time to gather together in homes, to hear the gospel, to share with one another. And our prayer is that as we continue to grow in our walk with God, and we continue to, to study His Word, our, our walk with Him will grow tremendously. Uh, intimacy with God is what we've been focusing on for this month, and we've been focusing on the knowledge of God, and as we get to know God better, we begin to know ourselves better. Also with the intimacy with God, it's just like the intimacy of a friend. As you get to walk with that person and talk with that person more, you begin to trust that person. You begin to trust uh, what they say. You begin to trust uh, what they promise. You begin to trust uh, their, their, their words towards you. Just as in a relationship with a person, it's the same with your relationship with God. And our prayer here at Bread of Life is that as you continue to walk with God, that you would grow in your knowledge of Him. And as you grow in your knowledge of Him, our prayer is that you'll also grow in the knowledge of yourself. We've been created in the image of God. And what that means is that as we study God, we begin to get to know ourselves or how our true selves. Now, we've talked about the names of God. And what I'm going to mm -hmm. talk about a little bit today are the attributes of God. And there are 10 attributes that I want to focus on for this uh, small group session. Attribute number one is the omniscience of God. What does the omniscience mean? Omniscience means that God knows everything and his knowledge is complete. This is called the omniscience of God. Isaiah said that Israel had not seen everything that God had planned. You know, sometimes in our walk with God, we wonder, uh, is God's plan towards us good? We wonder if God's plans towards us are true. God says the plans that he has towards us is to pro prosper us and not to harm us, to give us hope in a future and an expected end. And there are times when we feel as though God is far off or God is not near or God doesn't understand. But what the word says is that God is all knowing. And because he's all knowing, even when we go through difficult times, we still trust him because we know that all things work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. Attribute number two, Om omnipotent. God is able to bring to pass everything that he chooses. God has no external limitations. God can do anything but fail. God is the one who created the universe. He's the one who created you. He's the one who created me. He's the one who created the birds that you hear in the background. He's the one who created this whole universe. And this is why we worship him in his totality. We worship in him in his totality because he has the power to bring anything to pass. God says, ask and you sh it shall be given. Seek and you shall find. Knock and the door will be opened. So what God wants us to do is to trust him enough to believe him for the hard thing, to believe him for the big thing, to believe him for the impossible thing. And our prayer is that even in this moment that you're fellowshipping with other believers, that you take time to pray with each other and talk about what your prayer requests are so that we can believe God together. Attribute number three, God is immutable. By nature, God is absolutely unchanging. You know, this week God gave me a word, and the word was, I, the Lord, never change. That is really, really good to know that God never changes, that he doesn't change his mind, doesn't change his attitude, doesn't change. He is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And that's comforting to know, to say that, okay, the same God who intervened in Abraham and Isaac and Moses' life is the same God that's interacting with me. He's unchanging. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And our prayer is that as we continue to walk with God, we'll continue to understand how awesome our God really is. God is holy. Through all the attributes of God are important and dependent upon one another, the fact is that God's holiness seems to be the one he wishes us to put emphasis on. God is holy. And if God is holy, that means we have to be holy. God is righteous. And God is, is and what holy means is that God has revealed himself to man, to Moses, Job, Isaiah on the Mount of Transfiguration. Each encounter he mentions his holiness. Isaiah called God the Holy One more than 30 times. The Lord God is holy. Because of his holiness, he cannot accept nor even look upon sin. And so for us, in terms of the holiness of God, why we thank God for Jesus is because sometimes we mess up. And because God's standard is so high, the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Jesus paid the price for us so that we could stand in the presence of God. 
And so I'm thankful to the Lord that he doesn't change his standards. And, and we shouldn't change our standards either. Sometimes, instead of trying to conform our life to the Bible, we try to conform the Bible to our life. And that's not God's will. God's will is that we live a life that is pleasing in his sight. Righteousness. Now I'm going to close right here on righteousness. God's holiness is manifested in his righteousness. Because he is holy, he is righteous. This attribute of righteousness is the way his holiness is expressed when dealing with men. God is always right. He's very gracious, very compassionate. And so as we continue on this journey, studying about God and learning more about him, our prayer is that as you continue on this journey to study your Bible, study your word, and to come to church and hear God's word, your life with God will grow, and you'll grow in your faith and in your knowledge of Jesus. This is Pastor Rudy Mosley, Senior Pastor of Bread of Life International Worship Center, excited about the fact that you're here and you're listening and you're fellowshipping with other believers. God bless you as you continue your walk with him. See you in church on Sunday so you can hear more about the attributes of God. God bless.